What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm going to check out 10 greatest Survivor Series teams of all time by Parts Unknown. Um, Survivor Series is right around the corner. and There's been some great Survivor Series teams in the past. So we're going to go back down memory lane and check out some of these fantastic Survivor Series teams. Appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel. We're going to get right into this video, man has a least favorite child especially your mom i know you're an only child that just means you lack competition wwe's least favorite child has always been survivor series the pay-per-view that has kept there from being a wwe not the big three and while the theme of big ol elimination tag matches might not be as exciting a hook as the royal rumble or wrestlemania there have been some good ones as well made mm -hmm. that way by their teams we're going to be looking at the very best teams that number four of the wwe big four has ever presented with emphasis put on team construction and team performance. I'm Tempest hailing from Parts Fun Known, and these are the 10 greatest Survivor Series teams of all time. Before we get on with this list, of course, make sure that you like this video, subscribe, and enable notifications to always on so you never miss a fun list just like it. And check out the new episode of Survival Series right here on PFK, <laughs> featuring yours truly. Honorable mention the Elite and the Dark Order. Remember when AEW did a Survivor Series elimination match on Dynamite that one time and it was awesome? Yeah, shout out to those guys. Number 10, Damn, The Shield and the Real <laughs> Americans, 2013. This was a bad year for Survivor Series because nothing says Big Four pay-per-view quite like Randy Orton versus Big Show for the WWE mm -hmm. Championship in the main event. The rest of this show wasn't great either, but the lone highlight came in its opener. On one side, you had the brothers Rhodes, the brothers Uso, and Rey Mysterio, mm -hmm. a very good start. But opposite them was The Shield and Cesaro, which is enough to get me through the door and sit my ass in a ticketed seat. Also, Jack Swagger was there. <laughs> also, but while Jack this would be Swagger another good Survivor Series match on paper, where this match excels is in its presentation of Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. Before everyone hated the big dog, here he was, cold as f***, and even on a stacked team of killers, and also Jack Swagger, eliminated four out of five baby yeah. faces to overcome a massive early deficit and win the match. This was the first truly brilliant solo mm -hmm. performance of Roman's career, and if this was the Roman we always got, maybe people wouldn't have turned on him. Facts. They had him. Here's the thing, and I know some people be like, "Oh, you was hating on Roman back in the day." No, it's just his character. They had something with him early, and all they had to do was just keep that, not overdo it. Just keep what they had there. He didn't talk too much. Obviously, he probably wasn't comfortable talking yet. You could have kind of just built him up over time, but he was working at this point. It's just when they start forcing him. And then had him saying cringe things. It, it didn't. It didn't resonate with the audience. But this was a pretty cool setup, and they definitely built up Roman Reigns at this point. Number nine, Team <clears throat> Miz, two thousand nine. Again, on paper, this team might not seem like much. The Miz, Damn, Sheamus, a young Drew McIntyre, Ziggler, and Jack Swagger again. Will you get out of here? <laughs> you might think this seems pretty mid-card for 2009, and you would be right, but that was the point. This was a future stars match with these five future world champions mm -hmm. standing opposite John Morrison and his team of babyface underdogs. Sure, not many of them stuck the landing as world champions in WWE, but this was WWE actually trying to build new stars and doing a really solid job with it as Miz, Sheamus, and McIntyre all stood tall That's and then crazy. one pay-per-view later all three of them had belts with Sheamus's belt being the big spinny one. Yeah, that's it crazy. It isn't often the WWE makes a statement with several young stars in one go and they will be commended when they do it. Also, Sheamus accidentally knees the referee in the head in this yep. match and he gives himself <laughs> the dreaded X sign. I'm glad he's okay, but I know he accidentally <laughs> kneed him in the head. And he had to give his own self to help. Ah! I'm glad he's okay, man. It is, it's part of wrestling. Sometimes things happen, but it is quite ironic. He had to give himself the own X. Like, somebody help me, bro. I'm hurt. Watch your head, Stripes. Sheesh. Number eight, Team Authority. 2014. Ooh. Now, this may seem low to you given how magnificent the Survivor Series match is, but the actual teams in this match... Uh... On one end, you have John Cena and his band of merry men, including mm -hmm. but not limited to Babyface Ryback and the Vintner Eric Rowan. Mm -hmm. And while Team Authority certainly still has its blemishes in the form of Corporate Kane and an early elimination from Mark Henry, mm -hmm. Seth Rollins, Luke Harper, and Rusev round out a pretty darn great heel team that is most certainly carried by its front man. 
Still one of the most legendary performances of Seth Rollins' WWE career, and while he may not have been able to lead Team Authority to victory, he was able to make it damn close in an incredible battle with Dolph Ziggler. Yep. And hey, ultimately, he was able to... Dolph Ziggler, oh, bro he, he, bro, he was the MVP of this match. People were behind him, and I really thought they were going to start pushing him because of how over he was in this match. He got over again. And oh, they won and everything. Then, of course, Sting being there. It was a great moment. They didn't capitalize on it. Oh, oh they should have capitalized on it, bro. Reverse the decision of this match. So, in the end, it's almost like he won here anyway. Yeah. Number seven, Team DX 2006. You won't find mm -hmm. a much more dominant performance from a Survivor Series team than this one. The Hardys, Triple H, and his best friend, CM Punk, and also Shawn Michaels, made up this super team of popular babyfaces. Mm -hmm. And after a brief bit of comedy involving CM Punk being the most popular man in the ring, yeah. the match began <laughs> and then promptly ended for poor old Mike Knox as HBK asked who he was. I don't think he ever truly recovered. Shawn Michaels and Molina <laughs> share a tender yeah. moment. And then the good guy simply fun. swept the field, eliminating yep. Gregory Helms and his stupid sunglasses, Titan Tron. <laughs> This Johnny Nitro, fun. and both members of Rated RKO. DX in 2006 were the furthest thing from a serious tag team, so this match fit that level of unseriousness, even if it was in the middle of a fairly heated rivalry with Edge and Orton. Mm -hmm. But this match is just a stupid fun squash with a good guy's yeah, win. They, they and every once them. in a while, I have time for that in my wrestling. Six, <laughs> team Austin, 2003. Man, this mm -hmm. has to be the most iconic thing Shawn Michaels has ever done at Survivor Series. I can't think of a single other thing. <laughs> Another all-time great Survivor this was Series good team too. that wound up Ooh. on the losing end of things was Team Austin, mm -hmm. featuring not Steve Austin, but Shawn Michaels, Booker T, Rob Van Dam, and the Dudleys. This was the match where Team Austin represented Old Stone Cold against Team Bischoff to see who would get to continue running Raw, and while it starts as an even back and forth match, things quickly turn in Bischoff's favor, with mm -hmm. only Shawn Michaels left to fend off Chris, Jen, this was Chris so Jericho, good, and bro. Randy Orton. What we then got was one of the all-time greatest Survivor Series performances from the Showstopper, who, covered in blood, managed to eliminate both Jericho mm -hmm. and Christian, while Stone Cold delivered an all-time great <laughs> Stone Cold stunner to Randy Orton before HBK fell to a Batista bomb. It is a brilliant match, complete with yet another show-stealing outing from HBK, who once again proved to be his team's MVP yep. at Survivor Series. And the story behind it, it was so good to see hbk Shawn michaels giving it his all to make sure stone cold won make sure his team won so stone cold can stay in power and if you know the history between them and you know the story they've told in the past it was it was so cool to see that come full circle like the guy that despised stone cold back in the day is the guy per storyline wise is the guy doing everything he can to keep him in power. It was a good moment, bro. This was definitely deserved to be on this list. Number five, Team NXT. 2019. Oh, man. Ah, 2019. When we learned this that all was, you needed to do to freshen up brand warfare is throw 30 new faces onto a show. This was so good, bro. NX, when they added NXT to the Survivor Series mix, oh, this was so damn cool and good. NXT versus Raw versus SmackDown. So this was cool, bro. Team NXT took part in the least traditional, traditional Survivor Series tag yeah. team match on this list, with this being a five on five on five, five match. Yeah. But to me, that's just 33 and a third percent more fun. <laughs> Look at this collection of talent assembled by Papa H to represent the black and gold. Tommaso Ciampa, yep. Damian Priest, Matt Riddle, Keith Lee, and Walter. Now, of course, this match gets serious points off for eliminating yeah. Walter first at mm -hmm. less than three minutes mm -hmm. in. What the f*** are you playing at? But they fixed it. And Vince was the one that fixed it, actually. Vince was the one that fixed it. Vince wanted him to lose weight, which he did. And then Vince put, before Vince retired, he put the IC championship on him. And ever since then... We were all scared. All of us were scared. Trust me. I was scared that they were going to ruin him. But they fixed it. And he is the best. One of the best. Some would say he is the best Intercontinental Champion of all time. That's subjective. But you got to put him in that list. You got to put him in that category. And it's only a matter of time before he becomes a World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe the Universal Champion. Uh, the Undisputed Universal Champion. Who knows? But he will be a top champion 
relatively soon. Vince, did you take your meds today? But otherwise, this team is stacked, and this match goes hard. It is a very good time throughout, but of course, this match is rightfully best remembered for being by far the best main roster outing of Keith Lee's for WWE sure. career. Uh, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, blow uh, for blow, man, Roman Reigns is the cool. final two men in this the match was cool. before finally falling victim to a spear with the crowd going crazy, hoping to see a breakout moment. Yeah. Should have been the start of something huge for Keith Lee, yep. but unfortunately, it would always be yet another massive what-if. Yeah. Four, Team SmackDown 2016. The first time post 2016 this was cool brand too. split, the WWE attempted to do brand warfare at Survivor Series, mm -hmm. and one of the only times that decision paid dividends. Both sides of this match were loaded with star power, and on the blue team, you had WWE Champion and 2016 mm -hmm. Wrestler of the Year AJ Styles leading the way, followed by rival Dean Ambrose, GM Shane McMahon for some reason, yeah. as well as Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, mm -hmm. who would end up being this match's survivors to the yep. surprise of many. This is arguably the greatest Survivor Series tag match of all time. This Locking was good. In 52 minutes this was with good. With everyone getting their own moment to shine. This was so it be fun. Dean doing a Shield reunion powerbomb on his own partner, Orton sacrificing himself to save Wyatt, or mm -hmm. Shane getting concussed. Star studded from yeah. top to bottom, given an avenue to steal the show and enough time to properly develop and further stories. This SmackDown team was one that made you think that this wasn't the B show to anyone. Facts. Well, number three, yeah. <laughs> Team Raw 2016. Okay, maybe not everyone. While Team SmackDown brought plenty of oomph to this match's bloom, Team Raw didn't have Shane McMahon on it. Yeah. Because it places ever so slightly higher. Jokes mm -hmm. aside, this team ranks high because of its own merit as well, as it's made up of Universal Champion Kevin Owens, mm -hmm. best friend Chris Jericho, Braun Strowman, and Shield mate Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. That is a Stacked team. <laughs> and similar to their blue counterparts, they had enough time to properly tell stories over the course of this near hour long match. Whether it be Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho teasing dissension when Kane mm -hmm. destroyed Jericho's list by using it as a weapon, or the aforementioned Shield reunion, or Braun Strowman scaring off James Ellsworth, everyone got something to do. I really could talk about this match all day long. This is I a love great it that much. Survivor Ten Series match. years I waited for a WWE pay per view in Toronto, and I was not disappointed. Number two, Team Alliance, 2001. Mm. Yes, let's all point and laugh at the team representing WCW and ECW being led by Steve Austin, Kurt Angle, and Shane McMahon. Yep. Ha ha. <laughs> now that that's all over with, let's all bask in how awesome this team actually is. I mean, Steve Austin, Kurt Angle, and Shane McMahon is one thing, but add in Booker T and Rob Van Dam, mm -hmm. and you have an Attitude Era all-star team. There is a reason this match topped our list of terrible rivalries that led to great matches earlier this year, and it is that no matter how bad the Invasion storyline may have been botched, mm -hmm. it can't take anything away from how awesome this Survivor Series match is. Facts. The various turns throughout the match may be one last convoluted swerve and a yeah. long convoluted story, but it adds intrigue that lasts all the way until the very end of the match when yep. the Alliance is finally <laughs> done away with for good. The way we all thought the WWF versus WCW rivalry would end with Steve Austin facing The Rock. And number mm -hmm. one, Team WWF, yep. 2001. Listen, Team WWF didn't have Shane McMahon on it. What can I say? <laughs> I can simply copy and paste everything I just said about this incredible match, Bro, but that, I really must that put team over was, this lineup of WWF defenders. Called, with The Rock leading the way, yep. with Chris Jericho behind him, as well as the Brothers of Destruction, yep. and also Big Show, I suppose. Yeah. Team WWF, at the very least, had five people who thematically should have been representing the company in a final showdown with the Alliance. This is a lot of people's favorite Survivor Series match of mm -hmm. all time, and it is not hard to understand why. What with the 45 minutes of action and some impossibly high stakes, but I think yeah. the biggest factor for people's love of this match is very simple. It has the biggest stars. You have Steve. Simple. It, it, the, the stars are there. <laughs> That's literally what it is. The people that were at the top of the top at this period of time, they were there. You can't go wrong Stone Cold and The Rock. You can't go wrong with the Brothers of Destruction. You can't go wrong with Chris Jericho. Can't go wrong with Booker T, RVD. Hell, I know people wouldn't put Shane in that category, but Shane was an integral part of the story itself. And at that point, people still didn't, you know, people cared to see Shane out there doing crazy stuff. You had Kurt Angle. Like, there was just so many good things involved in the story. Of course, the implications of whoever wins stays in business. They, they, they built this up as something very important to see. Boston and The Rock on opposite sides of a Survivor Series match. 
biggest of its kind. The metric ton of star power on Team WWF alone is enough mm -hmm. to make this the biggest Survivor Series match of all time, and that doesn't even take Shane McMahon into consideration, which, honestly, we always have to do. And that's our list. Please make sure that no, you like this, this video great. and check out this clip from the latest. This is fantastic, man. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a like, man. It brought me back down memory lane. Those were some fantastic Survivor Series matches, man. And that one, for a lot of people, is one of the greatest ones because of just the star power they had in said match. So comment down below. Let me know your favorite Survivor Series team of all time, if it wasn't listed on this list. And if it was, let me know which team was your favorite. I appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on our channel. Roll to 150K, and I'm still getting the speed of YouTube wrestling channel for the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.